Gemini's welcome back to the channel it's a scene tarot so we're gonna jump into the last videos of the month okay I wanted to do four videos for you today hopefully we can do that it depends on the energy you know how it is but the first video I'm gonna do is your no contact read so if this does resonate for you go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the bottom tea. thank you for supporting the channel you guys the likes do make a difference um, it really helps the video to be successful and the channel to keep moving up. All right, so let's just see what we have for you. Gemini's energy. For the person that Gemini is thinking about, the person that's thinking about Gemini's, no contact, Holy Spirit. The window is open, you guys, so like, I don't know if I mentioned that. So keep in mind if you do hear noises, like the car passing through and stuff, I just want the fresh air okay all right thank you holy spirit holy guides holy angels protect me as i go into this energy and then from i go with myself in this energy all right what's going on the person i keep getting the chariot you guys when i was shuffling your your cards just now the chariot kind of like flew out of the deck and as i'm shuffling i i'm seeing the chariot i don't even know where it is but it was just here and i'm just like okay someone is coming back this person is coming back so and i just felt like i was pushed to tell you that like someone is choosing you within a situation you felt like this person wasn't going to choose you you felt like this person was confused and i'm just seeing them choosing you okay and coming home to you now whether or not it's going to be coming home without the baggage that's something else we're going to have to find out because i keep seeing the five of pentacles as well and this is about someone who has abandoned you or left you alone to pick up the pieces okay and a lot of you could have had responsibilities could have had a house together could have had a family and they decided to do this and now i'm seeing like this person is coming in because even the five of pentacles is in reverse here so they're trying to revamp the connection with you okay so how interested is that all right so let's see here no contact energy interesting hmm there's a huge regret this person walked away from this connection and has a huge regret you know they wanted to be in control with the situation this is what i'm seeing here um they had a lot of people trying to control them trying to get in their way trying to be in their business and i just feel like looking at the seven of wands in reverse this person lost control this person lost everything they had to let the chips fall and this is how you found out about certain things as well i feel like this was someone that you wanted to be with clearly you wanted to give the world to you thought this was your person you thought your cup was going to overflow but then you start seeing the red flags you weren't getting along you were arguing or bickering about stupid things it's like you are just different okay and whatever you were supposed to learn with this person the message was just not received and this is also why this person is returning I'm seeing the three of swords here as well, okay? So this is a constant vibration, like you're still hurt, you're still trying to heal, you're still trying to get over this situation that have occurred with you and this person, okay? It's just still so fresh within your mind of what happened. And this could be something that happened a while ago or something that happened three days ago, okay? Then we have the, I believe this is the nine of wands in reverse. You're also saying that there was a lot of baggage here and I'm also seeing history between you and this person. And I'm also seeing a cycle between you and this person because it just keeps happening and happening and happening. That's what I keep getting here. Then you have the page of swords, you have the moon, 
you have the tower energy as well so Scorpio and Aries for Major Arcana we have Pisces that is also coming out with Major Arcana I feel like the Holy Spirit is saying you know what the mistake have already took place it have already happened and then you have this page of swords energy which I'm just getting like this huge um this huge immaturity this talker this confident talker right cocky talker this person who is making promises and cannot fulfill i'm using my deck you guys this would be in the description box <clears throat> for purchase okay so let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, the angel number five two six. <laughs> this is what came up for you. And every time I look at this number, when I put this number on the card, you guys, um, I used to see this number a lot. And I just I just felt within the core that Divine wanted me to share this angel number with you. It's not an angel number that is quite popular, but I just always saw this and it always stick with me. And I just felt like there was something that was happening within this read that you might have felt like you just felt worried like something is going to happen and there's a connection here where you know you have to speak up but you didn't like you didn't and you're scared to as well and there's a relationship here that i'm picking up that is also coming up as something that you don't know <sighs> where it's going to go this person is in and out of your life this is what I'm getting. It says self-confidence, inner strength, stand firmly, trust yourself, problem solving. So at the end of the day, there is some kind of conflict that you feel within yourself about this connection. And you know within your core that it is just not perfect and it's not firmed and it's so easily manipulated into something else. You can easily lose this person I just feel like within this angel number, you're not sure. You're not secure. This is what I'm getting here. This is affecting your self-confidence as well, okay? You have a stronger or more important mission to accomplish than just being in a relationship with someone. And I feel like that angel number is coming up to remind you of that, okay? But there's also like this energy of like, you need to make sure that you need to solve this. Speak up for yourself. Have some self-expression, you know? Don't hide what you want and what you think you deserve. So, and I'm getting this tower energy, you guys. Scorpio and Aries, like I said before, and Pisces. The mistake has already been made here, whether or not this person had someone else, or this person walked away, or whatever this person did to hurt you. But this is the person that is showing back up, that is coming back, or trying to come back within your life. Because they have a huge regret of walking away from you, you know? And the crazy thing is, I saw that, that um, chariot, and I saw the five... No, is it the five? Yeah, the five of pentacles earlier. And I was explaining that to you. And I feel like this person abandoned you in your situation, okay? Because in this card, it's like you're saying like you just did not see this coming either. You didn't. So it was just so quick. Out of nowhere. It's like one day you were fine. And then the next day, this person broke your heart. But I'm also getting that like there was some kind of confusion here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep, there is movement. The angels are reminding you to stay kind because you do feel some form of way. There is movement here. Number eight, it says traveling, coming home, rest trip, 
leaving behind moving forward someone is coming home to you this person is coming home to you okay and the angels are saying like you need to make sure that you stay strong you need to make sure that you you lead with love you need to make sure that you lead with kindness but your love language well your energy language is love and lead with that I'm seeing yellow flowers here, pink flowers as well. You have intense feelings for this person, but you're struggling with choosing yourself, okay? Hmm. I feel like you're going to do something out of the norm. Like this person is expecting the worst from you, but I'm seeing like you're going to be very, it says generous here, consideration. Like you're just like trying to put yourself within this person's shoes. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, you're always having this huge ego come out. <laughs> you also have two 15s. Look at that. Okay. You also have two 15s here, self-worth, and then you have huge ego, number 15 as well. So a lot of you have been going through a lot of five energy with this person, a lot of adversities, okay? A lot of lessons. Something about your energy gems that I'm just getting this like peaceful energy though i'm just getting like this this bumblebee keeps coming it's like right in front of the window and i'm just seeing it i saw it from yesterday but it just it constantly like flies over the window you know one of my angel guides <laughs> or my ancestors just constantly looking in the window here but i'm just seeing like you whatever you're doing it's like you're just coming from a peaceful point in your life you're walking towards peace with the divine love you know you're trying to do the right thing here a lot of things that you have done wrong and you understand it but you're trying to have that understanding how to forgive yourself and how to forgive others because it also said redemption here and also forgiveness and you're trying to take the upper like the upper stairs you're trying to move up within this situation you're not trying to go down through all of this adversity someone is a leo around you or someone stubborn okay that you're dealing with that is just a child or act like a child and it's just like this could be a daughter okay or feminine energy or someone that just think that you're supposed to take care of them. But I'm just seeing like this person, whoever this is, is a 15. So you've just been going through a lot of drama over and over with this energy. It says toxic vibes, stubbornness. It's just toxic. And you're trying to make like the best of the situation and I'm also seeing like you're trying to heal at this point it's just recovery healing letting go self-doubt uncertainty so you don't even know if this relationship is going to go anywhere this is a 15 you feel like you've been in this situation with this person for quite a while this is what I'm seeing here this doesn't have to be love, you guys. This could be a family matter because I'm getting like family matter as well. But and then I'm seeing number seven, divine seeks you out. You feel powerful. You feel like you're being of like an angel here to experience like a physical experience. And if you go to the churches, they will tell you that angels don't live lives, but that's not quite true. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you know you're an angel because you're looking at yourself as a star seed or someone that is just highly experienced in spirituality. You have this deeper calling that you don't understand. This person who you're around, 
they just feel your energy and they're nervous you make them very nervous you know when they did something you know when they're up to something you're telepathic cosmically gifted it beyond that all the stars align with you and you have messages or you're receiving messages or you're giving this person messages and you might not understand it but you're telling this person like um you know all these things and they're just like looking at you like you're crazy <clears throat> you make them very nervous gems that's what i'm hearing all right, so this is someone that you're going to go back to. It says, bless the union no one can break. So a lot of you were married to this person or there was some kind of promise that was made between you and this person um, together. I'm also seeing the Three of Swords being confirmed here as well. There's a form of separation, no contact, energy confirmed here. This came up in the tarot and also in my deck. Okay, confirmation. What you guys are going through, this is coming off as present. This is coming off as fresh. This is coming off as something that you're still dealing with. Um, <clears throat> this could have been a third party situation as well because I'm seeing the moon energy. Like, look at that. And the moon is coming up twice as well. Look at this. Look at this. OMG, confusion here. The Holy Spirit wants you to listen to your intuition or be able to listen to your intuition within this situation, okay? It says, listen to your heart always, number 18. That's what it says here. I feel like by looking at this, and my cat is so like, trying to be next to mommy, reading their cards. Um, I feel like this is going to be like a light at the end of the tunnel for you, okay? Because you feel like in the moon, it's just so dark. Like if there's no way, there's so many secrets. And the angels are saying like, no, it's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. But this whole thing is that we need you to listen to yourself and trust yourself. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. She saw the bee and then she got nervous and she came to mommy for protection with her tail in my way. Okay. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. A lot of you might be dealing with a Scorpio as well. I'm just getting a lot of emotions. I'm seeing the moon energy within the Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm also seeing the Ace of Cups. I'm seeing the the um, a lot of Pisces vibration within the moon. So there's a lot of secret emotion here. There's a lot of pride. There's a lot of like feeling some form of high vibration or high feelings for you, but not being able to share that with you. more holy spirit i'm also seeing this energy look at that pisces again something to do with pisces you guys i'm just getting pisces all over this like this person is very egoistic i'm also seeing like they have this regret but they're not saying that they're going to come to the door or they're going to make the first move they rather not do this this is what i'm getting they rather you make the first move they're saying that you're moving on. Something about you're moving on. Or you're unbothered. Or you're seeming to be unbothered in this situation. Oops. Ooh, look at this. Six of cups energy here. And then you have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So there was a lot of loss within this relationship. Especially for you losing yourself you were excited for this end you know you didn't you didn't you didn't cause this that's what you're saying like you didn't cause this person to do what they did but you did not fight it either you just took this time to go on your journey and to find yourself okay within scorpio within your chart 
for those of you who have that placement. Thank you. Because you are losing your identity. This person was quite loud over you or too energetic. Okay. They wouldn't let you speak and say your peace. They couldn't see their wrongs, their flaws, the things that they need to work on. But the contract is still in effect. So this energy is returning, you guys. And I'm hearing that you need to get ready because a lot of you are definitely moving towards peace within your death. Okay? This is what you're saying. Like, like okay, well, this happened. But I'm just trying to move towards peace here. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, the Sun in reverse, Leo energy. The Empress energy, Virgo energy is coming out. <clears throat> I'm just seeing Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Whoever this is, this person is chasing after you, like coming out of nowhere. And this person shows up without an appointment. This is what I'm getting here. And they think they are entitled to that. But I'm not seeing like this person is putting in. This person is coming off quite mean to you king i said the knight this is the king of pentacles that's even worse in reverse manipulating your way when it comes to money it's like they want to be in charge of the money they want to be masculine over the house over the foundation and this could be that you take care of everything here but then they want to act like they they take care of so many things. It doesn't make sense. And you need help with so many things and they're acting like they want you to beg, but you are not a beggar. You're coming off as the Empress. Continue to be as the Empress with class, okay? This person is not making you happy within Leo. You're going to have to choose yourself. You feel sad. You feel disappointed. You feel abandoned again with the fives. Five, the adversities that came. This is 16. Movement, you know. Divided by two. Eight. There are movement happening here. This person is coming in. But they rather you, like sacrifice they rather you sacrifice there's a some kind of back and forth and juggling having two situation here two lives that they're dealing with that you're not a part of this could be family matters that they're hanging with their family and their family don't like you but you can't be a part of that or this could be a relationship because you have the three here. You have the three in the, the constant energy and you have the two, okay? And these are showing up constant. So this person is not trying to choose, okay? Whoever this person is for you, they're not trying to choose. I'm also seeing the three of wands here in reverse and the... Ten of Wands. So there's a lot of burden that is still being held or carried within this connection. And I'm also seeing the Three of Wands here. So there's been a distance between you and this person for so long. And the reason why this person regrets this, I'm going to share with you, is because this did not work out. This Three, this person that they're they, they, they sabotage this connection for. It didn't work out. <laughs> and they regret it. They had a choice. They made it. The mistake within the moon. The energy that you were picking up. Like something ain't right. Something ain't safe. Like someone is doing something behind your back. Keeping secrets. You just feel it. 
you don't have no proof but your intuition tells a different story thank you holy spirit holy guides holy angels thank you ancestors for being here and protecting gemini's Move anything of the darkness in the place it will light. As I release myself from this energy. <clears throat> Tell me more. So, tell me more. As we get ready to close. Ooh. My neighbors are loving their music. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so there was multiple situations happening here. I feel like this is why this person didn't give you the stability because they were busy giving that to someone else. Uh, I'm just seeing like or some other people. I'm seeing that a lot of you have been dealing with a player. Okay? player that just comes in when they feel like it's necessary to come in all right tell me about this two of, two of uh, pentacles excuse me two of pentacles <clears throat> wow it's like this person is trying to decide still who they want to be with who they want to be with and they're like really having a hard time here juggling the two it's like they're wearing their they're wear, weighing their options with these two pentacles <laughs> feeling them out and seeing like if they need to make a choice or not it's better who is better who can give me that ten of cups ten of cups and that home by that you know ever after that happily ever after because they realized now whatever this was that they distanced themselves for wasn't even worth it I'm seeing the nine a lot of you are stressed out even though this is like you haven't heard from this person this person distanced themselves from you this person is hiding this person is watching you from afar and you're worried you're stressed out because you're ready to love a lot of you have cancer within your chart you're ready to give this person that commitment okay holy spirit what else do you need to let gemini's know in this no contact read Oop! wow that was quick <laughs> Ooh, number six this person is going to call you at night, okay? Or going to reach out to you. Sorry that it's blurry. But they're going to reach out to you at night. This is what I'm seeing here. And I'm also seeing there's going to be an apology as well. So white roses here is coming from a good place. But that night energy, break night with me, is very intense, you guys. Okay? There's a decision that is made here. I feel like this decision could go either way because this is the judgment here. This is about karmic energy, okay? This is about balance, okay? This is about a final decision, completion, ending, moving on, power. Getting back that power. Also, Aries and Libra energy for those of you who resonate with that. Oop, oop, oop. That's too many. The bad. I'm just going to show you something, okay? This is the ones from the back. This could be a marriage or something that was supposed to become a marriage between you and this person. And then I am seeing two soul lies together. So 12, 12 on the clock. Um, it says deep partnership, deep love, or partnership, deep love, fighting to stay together, two souls facing separation following around each other wherever you try to move on to that you see this person around you're like hold on what's going on you know what's going on with this energy i don't know why my focus is in and out but 
and you seem like you're hearing things about this person and you haven't seen them in a minute but people are telling you things this is what i'm seeing here Angels are like saying, choose yourself. Something about being free for you right now, being playful. You need to smile more. You need to dive into your youthful energy, your childful energy, your happiness. I'm also seeing number 21. So talk about decisions, number 20. And then you have number 21 here. And this is like making a decision about this and moving forward with it with an action. Okay. an action on your decision but this is also confirming itself nine of swords you have the nine of swords who came up in the upright like you are stressed it says fearful depression stress worry a lot of you are making decisions based on fear because you're scared that you might get hurt again my thing is if you love this person you love this person you can't help who you love um, I'm not here to like run you away and say don't be with someone that hurt you um, if you are cool to them you have another you know lesson that needs to be learned there um, a contract is deeper than you know unless you study into contracts then you understand but it's it goes deep you know we're all here to learn so I'm seeing infinity here like you're going to be okay or a lot of you could have infinity tattoos or something like that. <laughs> or you could be into this this symbol. But it's saying infinity forevermore. So there's going to be a long lasting victory for you. And this is not something that can be taken away from you. Um, this is something that is assigned to you, period, point blank. And that is it. That is it. One more and then we're going to close. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I said one more, but here I'm, at, I'm still shuffling for you. Okay. Cool. So this is someone that wanted to have a child with you. You're having visions and dreams about this situation. This is about your force or your fulfillment, your happiness, your abundance, your home, your family. This is about that. Look at that. The angels are saying, play the game, play it right. Number five, you are going through a lot of adversities. A lot, a lot of adversities. And they want you to be on top here. Okay, you're starting over with this person. Like I said, number zero, 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 zero. Reset the clock, you guys. This is what I'm seeing here. So I hope this resonates. I hope that it gave you what you were looking for gems if it does you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel and yeah all the information should be down below when it comes to me and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys